We're going to look at race number eight, though, now here. Class two, 1,000 metre dash, headed by Grateful Heart, who won the Happy Valley Millions uh, this year. Who gets the inside gate here? Explosive witness should get back, despite drawing barrier four. Hong Kong win, first up since December, with the blinkers going back on. Massive Pocket was a big winner, two starts back. Valiant Dream set the track record at Sha Tin, last mat over the 1,000 uh, metres. We've got Lucky Moore, who was right behind uh, Valiant Dream that day. Shining Ace, Harmony and Rich comes up in class. Flying Genius, a four-time course and distance winner. And We the South, a five-time course and distance winner. He'll jump from barrier number eight. And this is the eighth rate of the programme as well. There seems to be quite a bit of speed uh, engaged in this one, Mike. We're saying good in the early stages, but there might be a couple of horses vying for that front spot. You yeah, wouldn't be surprised if it's on the faster side of good Andrew. Multi-million goes forward. We know we the South likes to run forward too, Paul. And even though he's up in grade, Harmon in Rich has shown plenty of early speed in recent starts. Yeah, exactly. He'll need a bit of luck out from his wide draw, but he has uh, drawn wide before and run pretty well. Lucky Moore, uh, look, he should get a nice enough run. Grateful Heart as well. Explosive Witness. Now, his best runs is when he's got really well back, so I just wonder if they'll try and uh, sort of take him back. Uh, Massive Pocket, another one, he should be at the back as well, but we know he's got a fast finish on him as well, so the faster the better for these uh, back runners anyway. Massive pocket, very slow out two starts ago over this course and distance and we're still good enough to go on and score and score convincingly, Andrew. All right, well, let's start off here with uh, Valiant Dream. Switching from Chartin to Happy Valley, let's get the thoughts of Karis Teeth. Karis, you ride Valiant Dream again. Have you ridden many more honest horses than him? Yeah, because he's just, he's just a horse that likes to go out and, and run. And especially now, lately, he's, uh, the age is getting to him, but it doesn't matter. He's actually finding his form towards towards the end of the season, so yeah, I'm pretty pretty happy with him. And you broke a Thero's track record last time down the straight at Sha Tin. Did you feel you were going that fast? Yeah, uh, you know, I, I think that day we, we had a tailwind behind us too, and I think that's what helped him. Uh, we were going pretty fast, and like I said, it felt fast. Like I said, with a tailwind, you, you, you can feel it, and I must say, all credit to the host, too. he really picked up. When I picked him up, he really responded very well. He's lightly raced around Happy Valley. Have you got any concerns on the turning track? He, he, he has changed into, he's, he's developing into a better horse now. Um, that's the only concern, you know, going, going back to the valley and, and his form hasn't been strong there. He's got an awkward draw to deal with, so we need a bit of luck from the draw and, and if luck on his side, you know, he's, he's in top form. He seems to be a horse that you and him make your own luck. Three rides for two wins in a second. You can't do much better than that. Yeah, well, I've, like I said, I've done well on him this season and put on him a bit of work and, like I say, he's, he's, he's a happy horse at the moment. Um, if we can get a good run from the draw, I think he'll be very competitive. Back to last Sunday, Diamond Brilliant upstaging a couple of nice ones in Winner Method and Drops of God. Lovely late birthday present for you. Yeah, it was, it was good. Actually, it was, he surprised me. Um, I thought I, I knew I had John my outside and he, he, he will have to do a bit much. And I thought with the weight, I could get, get to Zach. And when I got next to him, uh, I thought, well, I think the weight is in my advantage. And you know what? It's, uh, it's, it's been very competitive in Hong Kong and it's nice to be able to, to pick up one or two rides like that. Can you go on with it now up in grade with, with bigger weights? Well, normally when, when they win like that, they, they sort of get their confidence up and you could see on Sunday he got his head in front and he was happy to be there. So when they got their confidence up, they can improve. So I'll be happy to see him improve. A nice win. Um, definitely was uh, beating uh, Winner Method and Drops of God. And his sec only his second starts will give him another chance. But uh, what of him, Paul? Valiant Dream. Draw doesn't look ideal, does it? No, look, I like the horse a lot and I did like him down that straight thousand last time, but I don't like him here. I mean, he's failed twice at um, Happy Valley. He's drawn barrier 11. There's a lot of speed underneath him. I just think he's going to get a torrid run. Got him in. He's just too honest. And Paul's right. He doesn't race well around Happy Valley. He hasn't twice. He's only been around there a couple of times, so he's in. All right, here's uh, Massive Pocket. There's a few other horses in this race as well. We're just highlighting Massive Pocket. A little bit slow out of the gates, but Explosive Witness right back there as well, Mark. He does race well over the 1,000 metres here, though, Andrew. And uh, with the anticipated speed in the race, Paul, with horses like We, the South, uh, Multi-Million and Harmin in Rich all going forward, he's going to get the race run to suit and will be charging home at the end. He's in my top four. Yeah, the only thing with him is... Um... He doesn't put two together. I mean, when he did win this race, he came out and he failed next time at Shards. And now, coming back to Happy Valley, he's only a little horse as well. I just 
Wonder if he could put two together. That was a little query I had. Yeah, Grateful Heart weakened out. He was favourite for that race that day, Grateful Heart, but weakened out of it uh, late, uh, featuring in the in the Vets report with blood in his track. Yeah, Harmony and Rich, uh, Paul, what are his chances? Well, another one that's drawn wide, isn't he? He's drawn barrier number nine. Now, he's overcome widest draws in the past and had some very hard runs, this horse. I just think this is a lot stronger than what he, what he has been racing against, and I just think he's going to find this a little bit tricky from his barrier nine. If he had drawn a better draw, Harmony and Richard, maybe consider him for a top four spot. Not sure from out there with the work that he's going to have to do, even with that pace that he's got. We the South is going to kick up for sure. Flying Genius doesn't mind showing some early pace either. Here he is outside Super Axiom coming up to the home turn. He's honest enough. He's certainly improved. He's done a very good job winning two of his last three. Down in weight, carries 13 pounds less than this win over Larson. But just Barry number nine, first time in class two, is going to make it very, very tricky for him. Yeah, the one positive, more than one positive, but the man in the saddle, Matthew Chadwick, he's ridden him twice. He's won on him both times. He certainly gets on with the horse very well, so that's uh, Harmony and Rich. Uh, the other horse we can have a look at here is uh, Grateful Hearts, uh, Mark. Now, um, we obviously saw him weakening out of that uh, last replay. We're looking up at Chung Fa, very easy trial, but he looks on good terms. He does indeed, and there had to be a reason why he weakened out in that previous start at Happy Valley. Had the blood in the track here, a beaten 2.6 favourite. He's a lot better than that. You're going to have to take him on trust internally, Paul, but he's been freshened up, up in China and... He's just too smart a horse to be living out of this field. Yeah, I, I tend to agree. And from barrier number one, he's going to get a perfect run just in behind this pace as well. Grateful heart. So, look, I, I've definitely included him. I think he's really enjoyed his time up there at the spelling track up at Chung Fa. OK, so he's definitely in the calculations. But we look at the market, Paul. This is wide open. Where do you go? Yeah, so I've got my each way play in this because I think you want an each way uh, a bet around these ones. I'm going to go with multi-million. Now, he's got a lot, a lot of speed, a lot of really early speed. He's drawn low as well, so I think he'll lead. Uh, he, he will lead, and um, if, if, if he jumps well, which he normally does, uh, all things being equal, he'll lead, he'll be out of trouble, and he's a hard horse to get past. So, uh, at a decent price, I'll put him on top. Grateful Hard in there for second. Now, Lucky Moore is coming to Happy Valley for the first time, but he's another horse that has been running really consistently. And Hong Kong win, the blinkers go back on him, and he's in a fresh state, and that's where he runs his best races, with blinkers and fresh. 10, 1, 7 and 3. With Grateful Heart, he said he was beaten favourite last time, but he's been freshened up up at Chung Far. As long as everything is OK internally with him, we've seen how smart he is. He's won a two from his last four and a third behind Skyfield. Valiant Dream, he'll need some luck, but at 19 and 5.5, he's just the most consistent racehorse and a track record holder. If you're putting the five in, the seven has to go in also because he chased him home down the straight at Sha Tin. An explosive witness, if they do go along at high speed, he'll be running on well at the end. One, five, seven and two. Yeah, I think the pace is going to be on. I'm looking for a closer, explosive witness. But just as a way of looking at that market, um, you've got uh, Valiant Dream, track record at Chartin last time out, and Flying Genius, the Outsiders. He's a four-time course and distance winner. That's the strength and depth of that race.